Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talus Principle 2, the only series where the real fool is 1k. So today we are here in South 1, and this episode's going to be a little bit of a change, uh, because I have found a brand new way of breaking puzzles, and it is not only much faster than before, but also considerably easier than what I've been doing. Uh, and since the whole point of this series is to just get to the end of the game as fast as I can, uh, pretty much every episode is going to look exactly like this from here on out, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so I don't know if it's intended, but there's this terminal at the beginning of every puzzle, and if you hit E on it, and you just drag this little thing over, um, it will just solve the puzzle. That doesn't really seem intentional for a puzzle game to just be able to solve a puzzle without even doing anything in it. Um, but that's pretty much how it goes, so I'll meet you guys over at number two. Alright, so the solution for number two is going to be exactly the same as it was for number one. We're just going to go over here and hit E on this terminal. And then we're going to drag this spark over, and that one is solved as well. So uh, let's go on to number three next. So number three uh, threw me for a loop the first time I did it, because as soon as you enter the puzzle, you actually have to turn around almost 180 degrees to find the terminal. But once you get to it, the rest is super simple. So you just drag this over just like that, and there we go. Three out of ten puzzles done. So uh, let's move on to number four next. So I tried for quite a while to try to come up with a unique solution for number four, um, but in the end, the only thing that I could figure out was to just come over here, hit E on this terminal, drag this thing over, and solve it just like that. Boring, but it gets the job done. So uh, let's go ahead and get this lost puzzle over here while we're in the area. Alright, so this solution is really cool. You have to uh, go in here, and then if you turn right, there will be a terminal on the wall. And if you hit E on it, he'll put his hand on it, and then you can just drag this little pixelated icon into this aperture, and the puzzle is just solved. Um, I really like that solution. It's super unique, and I think it's my favorite solution in this area because of that. So uh, let's move on to number five next. And the solution for number five is another really super unique one. Um, we're going to come over here, and there's this jammer, and we just... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I forgot what we were doing. Never mind. We just uh, hit E on this terminal and drag this over. And number five is solved as well. So let's uh, head on to number six next. Alright, so number six actually gave me a ton of trouble. Um, getting to the terminal itself is really easy. You just walk over here and you hit E on it. Um, but then when it comes to actually getting the thing and the other thing, uh, it's like super pixel precise. And just, it took me like half an hour my first time. So we're probably going to have to fast forward through this. Okay, um, that actually did not take nearly as long as it did before, thankfully. Um, so let's go ahead and get number seven, since it's right in this area. And this one is another fairly challenging one, because the wall that the uh, terminal is attached to is so small. Um, but if you get close enough, and you find just the right spot to put your cursor into, you can get it. And there we go. And then we just go ahead and drag this in. And that one wasn't too hard. So let's uh, go ahead and get number seven. Number seven gave me by far the most amount of trouble of any puzzle in this area, um, and that is because the first time I entered here, and I looked for the, the terminal here, I looked for the terminal around the other corner, I looked for the terminal over here, it's like nowhere else in the puzzle. Uh, and after about 45 minutes, um, I figured out you have to enter the puzzle and then look left, and it's actually over on this wall, which is really weird. But uh, once I found it, it was super easy. You just drag this over, and it's done. Let's go ahead and do number 8 next and finish this area up. So you would expect that since number 8 is always the hardest puzzle, um, that this would also be the hardest terminal. But honestly, it's the easiest one out of them all. All you have to do is hit E on it, drag this over, let it go inside that circle, and you are done. Alright, so with all those out of the way... Um, Normally I would do Easter Eggs and Prometheus Sparks, but honestly I think I'm going to just stop doing those. It just slows the game down. There's really no point in doing them. So uh, let's just go ahead and do the tower, and then we will head to the next area and do the outro. So I will meet you there. Alright, and as we enter a new area, thank you for watching, leave a comment and all that boring junk, and meet us next time as we beat South 1 for real. Peace.
So tools in this game like to snap to each other. Uh, for example, the grav shifter beam and the driller hole like to align themselves so that the beam can go through the hole easily. There's one little problem with that. The uh, driller is more interested in staying aligned with the grav beam than it is with obeying physics.